Hey, what's up, guys? This is Astronix, and I'm back with another Epic 7 video. So, let me just buy this thing here and let's see what I get. And then I'll do the run. Oh, nice. Molagora C. Very, very good. All right, so let me just exit out of this thing and uh, I'm gonna get back in there. And this time I'm gonna kill Julie V. Council because I want to see how much morale I'll have left. I'm actually very curious to see uh, how it's gonna be. So far what I've tried is, well first thing is that uh, this team actually gets 38 morale when I camp. So that is very good and the heroes are quite easy to obtain. Of course Alexa is free and Silk, Tarnal Guard, only a 3 star, you can just save up. Um, you can just uh, save up your uh, emblems, your medals for uh, Mystic Summons and just go for it whenever he shows up if you like the uh, the rest of the heroes in the, the rotation. I would uh, highly suggest that you do that because, I mean, uh, TG Tarnal Guard is especially strong in, uh, in Wyvern. So definitely work on getting him if you don't have him yet because, as you will see, he can be used very uh, efficiently in, uh, in raids as well. So, uh, this team comp, you can replace Angelica for Akatis, I've said it before, and uh, Akatis is a very strong healer. She can definitely uh, deal with uh, the damage coming uh, your way and also her uh, clans. She actually removes debuffs first and then uh, do a team-wide heal. The soul burns only 10 souls, very very strong. I have her on my second account and she just works beautifully, to be honest. I wish I had her on this account, I tried to roll for her. There's actually a summoning pool that will be ending soon and I'm actually gonna do a summoning video on that and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping I get her, that'd be really cool, that would be really cool for sure. So yeah, I'm going for a Jewel of account, so, so far the path that I've taken were I went for uh, Devour, Devour Rakan, and then I headed to uh, Secretary Vera, but that didn't work quite quite well because I was at minus 37 morale by the time I did reach her, and uh, that that doesn't work, as of course, like when you get below minus 31, you're, uh, I mean, at minus 31 or less, you're done, you're done for the run. So yeah, I'm gonna see how much morale I'll have and at that point I'll be able to decide on how I'm gonna proceed with these runs. But to be honest, of course, the, the most optimal thing would be to just knock out two bosses in one run. After that, I can knock one other boss and then I could start clearing my way somewhere and then on the third run I just finish off whoever I was clearing uh, toward and then finish off with the, the queen. The thing is, two runs I have to use this group composition, but this group is not working for the queen. So what, I've, what I'm doing is that I switch it up. I use, I have it written here. Instead of this group composition, I use this Tina. Uh, where is it at? There it is. Okay, Angelica with this Tina and Bellona and Tarnagard. This gives me only 26 morale whenever I camp, and of course it's not that much. It's okay, but it's not a team you, I would run on the initial runs, because, I mean, it just doesn't give you enough morale. What you, what's going to happen is that you're going to need four runs, and the whole uh, purpose of doing it this way is that I'm trying to save uh, two entrance tickets. Now, when, a, when you, you could just like, uh, with the rest of your tickets that you don't use in a week, you're doing three runs, right? So, I mean, you're getting one per day uh, with the guild one, plus seven, that's eight. So you can do four runs, but if you do three, of course, you can have two left for uh, doing just uh, Labyrinth. Get a bunch of ancient coins, you could be doing different things, maybe farming one that you like, maybe you can... Uh, try to reach 100% exploration for the reputation. There are different ways to go about it. But of course, you can definitely do the raid in four runs. But to me, it's not optimal, of course, because you can just do it with less runs. So two runs with this group setup, and then I switch it up, bring this Tina and Bellona, and I'm able to take, take out the queen. 
Now, the safer strategy, to be honest, is to knock out Executioner Carcanis, and uh, I mean, I could go uh, with any boss first, really, but uh, let's say I go Devour Arakan, and then I go uh, Carcanis, or I go Vera. Then I, I knock out these three bosses, and for the final run, I start clearing toward Jewelry Council and some toward the Queen. And the final run would be to just knock out uh, Jewelry Council and then the Queen, because it's much easier with the other group composition. But, but this group can actually do it. I've recorded it, and uh, Jewelry Council, of course, it, this is not optimal because you've got Tarnogar that applies uh, defense down debuff with a 75% chance. At least Julie Council has pretty high effect resistance, so I mean you get some uh, some resist. You definitely don't want to apply uh, debuffs because of course Julie Council is buffing up whenever you do that. So yeah, uh, that's why this team is not optimal. You definitely want to have a team that doesn't apply a debuff. The, the case with the other team is that I still bring Tarnal Guard, but it's fine because I have plenty of healing. I mean I've got Destina and then uh, Bellona has Bloodstone, so. Uh, percentage of her damage is actually healing the group. I mean the lowest uh, Health uh, hero in the group So it's very safe and very efficient It's just that I'm gonna go this way this time. Let's say it just fails, right? I'm just gonna Restart the run. I'm gonna just knock out uh, I mean potentially two bosses to be honest like I know that Devour plus Vera doesn't happen in one run but it could be Devour and Executioner. It could be, I mean, I would have to check the numbers here. Let me just, should I camp here? Cause you can, you cap at 70 morale rate, right? So I'll do it cause I will not reach 70 after camping. So let's hit it up with the Angelica Comforting Cheer and uh, follow that with Tarnagard Heroic Cheer. Look at that, 22 is so good. So good, all right. So 22 and uh, 16 here. All right, beautiful. Let's move on. And to be honest, like on that fight, you can be very unlucky and you could just kill the wrong ad every time. Like, cause the council splits into three ads and you need to kill the correct one to get the council all uh, together again. And if you get unlucky and you kill two and then you have one left, then you, I mean, you're gonna need a lot of healing. And if you're running Angelica, you, you won't be using the immunity too much in there, but it, it's more about just healing the damage coming your way, to be honest. It's just, it's so much damage. It's so much damage because every like turn you're taking area damage. So it gets ridiculous if you don't kill uh, the right ad in time. I actually did it with both times, I believe. I, I had to kill the third ad on both occasions and that was brutal, but I actually did it. It just was not optimal. But yeah, oh, I should have turned off the skills here. Let's uh, let's hope uh, there's another battle. I think there's another one. So I got my souls ready. I can pop the guardian for the ad phase. There's no reason to uh, soul burn Angelica's uh, S3 because I mean yes, yes, yes. Sorry, you can do it on Jolivi uh, Jolivi Council, but when they split up, like forget about it. Don't do it because. Uh, you get your buffs stripped every time an ad goes. It's ridiculous, so there's no reason to do it at that point. It, it will just get taken away because the Soul Burn is only boosting the duration to four turns, which, I mean, is not going to do anything if it just gets stripped away. You will just lose your uh, your Soul Burn, I mean, your, uh, your souls. But it's very, very strong against uh, the Council when it's... Uh, when it's a one-man team so yeah because that poison is gonna spread real quick if you don't have debuff immunity but Akates I mean if she's fast enough and especially if she has the uh, the wondrous potion vial you can definitely take Jolivi out so here we go here 
let's see how I will fare. The damage, the direct damage is nothing crazy to be honest. But let's uh let's see what's what happens. Okay, it's 70% effect resistance. You can counter only 55% with effectiveness. Uh, there's a 15% that you just cannot counter. That's the way it goes in the game. So there's always that, like, if you have 55% effectiveness, there's always that 15% um, chance of missing. So here we go. Okay, poison was, like, just like starting to spread really quick. I got immunity. And uh, I just hope I land a critical hit, because it's... Jolibi Council is of the light element. Definitely don't want to use S2 or... I mean, it, Alexa is all about Daydream Joker. It's all about attacking twice. Of course, critting on... Uh, well, first hit especially. But you definitely want to crit all the time. So far, so good, to be honest. Like, with Angelica, that's not the issue. The issue is definitely during the ad phase. But uh, in between Silk, Silk's S3 and the uh, Guardian, I will... I will be fine, I hope. Let's just, you, know, you see, like, I, I just apply defense up for the boss, but I mean, there's no way around it. I would have to either pop the Guardian or, like, I use S3 already on Tarnar Guard, so. Yeah, you, uh, and, and then you get dual attacks. But, if, I mean, in this case, there was a dual attack, so there was a use there. there, there it actually did something. But here we go. Let me pop this uh, S3, because, I mean, that's an AoE. Now, on someone that will not be doing too much damage, like right here. On Angelica, to be honest, like, to uh, even, like, go for the heal? No, you don't go for the heal, because you're pretty healthy if it's looking the same as me. You just go for the Guardian. Just make your turns count, because it's a damage race. It's a DPS race. And you definitely want to. I mean, if you're if you luck out, uh, you kill the right one early, then that's that's good on you. Let's go for the double attack. Come on, knock him out. Oh, I was. Oh yeah, it worked. Look, it was the first one. Like in this case, that's really easy. But it's it's not always like this. It's not always like this. So one turn here. To be honest, let's go for the heal. Not like there's not there's nothing else better to do. Unfortunately, there's a well attack buff. You know, it's not much because the the dark damage is not high, so I'm totally fine. But I mean, uh, Tarnagard actually took a beating there. There's that poison that's gonna tick away. So here we go. Time to uh, get healthy and apply debuff immunity good good let's proceed with bringing that thing into the second phase the second add phase what do i just go with the first one again hmm you know silk is just gonna use s1 so i could just straight up go for that guardian let's just do it up thing is like the Guardian number one is very efficient in terms of uh, damage. You also get the buff that boosts your attack by 20% and 20% crit chance, which is very good, but you get your buff dispelled. You get your buff dispelled. I, luckily, I have it for, but now look, it's already gone. It's already gone, so I'm not gonna go for the heal. I need to make that heal count. If you go too early, it's, I mean, you're not helping yourself here. Because the damage will get worse and worse. You definitely uh, want to uh, save it up. So when things get hairy, you actually have it saved up. You have it ready to go. There's nothing to get your skills on cooldown. So you don't have to worry about anything of the sort. No, the third damage on Alexa, the, the area damage the poison it's all adding up to be honest i'm gonna go on the last one because it's it has the less amount of health this defense down now oh not quite now i'm gonna kill it 
If I crit, that's another attack on the... Oh, no, it, it was the right add, because if it was the wrong one, I would have it would have switched target. Now, I have two heroes, which are not too healthy, but that's the burn right here. Now, luckily, I have S3 of uh, TG, so I don't have to apply a debuff. Push the boss back a bit more, got lucky there, and I got the souls for this which is very good it's looking uh, it's looking good it's looking good everything uh, is in order I'm healthy and the ad phase to be honest it could have been much worse but even if I ended up with dealing with three ads every time until the boss showed up I think I would have been fine I've done it before I think my gear went up. I'll show my gear at the end of the video, guys, by the way. Attack buff, that's good. That's much better than defense uh, buff, because, I mean, uh, we still do maximum damage with this team. Okay, this thing I want to know. 27 morale. Hmm. So, I wrote, you know what? Executioner Carcanus is the exact same thing, guys. It is the exact same thing. Let me write this in another color. So after, uh, this was uh, Jolivi, so yeah, 27 into 24 after the, the TP, the teleport, because I'm, I'm going to lose 3 right here for doing the teleport. So now I know, uh, Executioner Carcanis and Jolivi Council bring me both to a minus 27, I mean, sorry, wait, what? No, to, uh, yeah, 227 morale, positive. So, now something happened. I've got some of the way cleared. That's a battle I don't have to deal with. So, let me try to go against Ex Executioner. Maybe I can reach him. Maybe I can... Uh, doubt it, though. Doubt, doubt it. Well, it's fine. I'll be clearing my way toward him. So, on the next run, that be uh, dealt. that's going to be dealt with. Now, there was a morale loss from going from the waypoint up to here, right? That was uh, a 4 morale drop, but still, I'm going to proceed with uh, pushing for this thing. So what it means is that you start with 70 morale, and if I write this down... Right, so I actually wrote that Carcanus needed 81 total morale. So. I can go with Jolivi, Council. I can write 81 morale as well. It was that's what it was. That's the requirement to do uh, the run. So what it means is that I started with 70, and then I camped to get 38 uh, with my group composition, and I ended up with minus. Uh, sorry, with 27. And it ended up with as 24 after the teleport. So yes, 80, 81 morale total uh, usage. Which, what it means is that I, I'm not doing it. It's not going to happen on this one. I will not be able to reach the... Oh, I should probably do this. Yeah, luckily I, I, I noticed before the, uh, the mini boss, the elite. Alright, so... It's all good. But yeah, I'm at 6 right now. It's just that there will be a few battles. Bef like, it's just not gonna happen. Because as soon as I reach minus 31, like, let's just count it real quick. I was at 24 at the portal. Now, from 24 to minus 31. Uh, that is only 55 But I actually saved some morale because I cleared a small part of the way now the question was is Was there one encounter or two encounters to reach that uh, second resting area after the hitting the waypoint? And I believe that there was just one So with all the battles that are left here. This is not gonna happen, but still I'm clearing my way toward uh, Executioner Carcanis so there's no loss here. 
that's pretty much all it's gonna end up being. Now, the thing is, if you want to run Devour Arahakan and Vera in one run, I wrote it and I said that. Uh, no, wait. I said that Carcanus plus Vera needs too much morale, which is not possible. Because I was at minus, minus 31 uh, morale after the first Elite on this, uh, toward the second boss, which means it's just too much. It, the requirement is too steep. There is no team in the game right now that can manage enough morale to, uh, to do this, uh, this run. So yeah. So yeah, that was Executioner Carcanis and Vera. I will have to map out from a waypoint to Vera how much uh, moral, total morale it actually uh, requires. But because there's an encounter here, I'm gonna get minus seven because every battle is minus seven morale. Every time you zone in into a resting area, that's minus one. Every time you exit, that's minus one. And every few steps that you walk that's minus one it seems to be about one second of walking equal to minus one morale so yeah yeah let's just slowly take these out and uh, I'll be able to do one last encounter because I'm gonna reach minus 26 after this by just exiting the uh, resting area that's minus 27 one more battle and that's it it's already minus two to get to reach the next resting area just going in and going out so that's minus 28 and i have to walk and there's still an encounter just before the boss so if i can take out this encounter before the boss i guess it's that's a win that's less morale i'm gonna have to use on the uh, next run the thing is i'm not gonna have any oh uh yeah, I'm, I'm doing it, but that's it. That's going to be the end of it. You know, I can just pop my guard in here. There's no reason to save it. I mean, it was a good run. Uh, Jolie V cleared to uh, Carcanus. A good start for the week, to be honest, with a team that's very obtainable for most of the player base. Like I said, you can definitely uh, replace Angelica with the Katis. If you do so, you will be getting one extra morale because Akates, Alexa, Tarnagard and Silk will give you 39 morale when you can. You use Comforting Cheer on Akates and Heroic Cheer on Tarnagard and that's it. Yeah, I got that Mol Agora seed. That's really cool. That's really cool. Now I can just TP, teleport, boom. That's it. That's, that's my first run. Really good. It, it's the same thing when I did Devour onto Vera, it was the same story, like, I was very close, but not quite enough. So I feel like, the thing is, with um, Devour Rahakan plus Vera, I feel like it's actually possible to do it if you get, like, a higher morale team. I'm gonna have to mad this thing later on, but yeah, that's that's the first thing. Here, that's the first run. Let me just get out, show you the uh, battle result, and then show you my stats and my gear. Got a ring. Of course, terrible stats like always. I mean, don't expect much out of these. You could be lucky. You could get one that is good. But yeah, it's not happening for me. Thing is, we can actually farm uh, jewelry, you can farm necklaces and rings from the hunt, so it's no big deal. The breakdown, I mean, Alexa, it's not Wyvern, so like she's not doing insane damage with a Daydream Joker, but still, still very good damage. Very good damage. And Julie V Council, like, there was no defense down to fully utilize the strength of Daydream Joker. So, yeah, I mean, that's. That's what it is, and it's a solid group. It's a solid group. It's very obtainable. Here's the skill ups first. I want to plus three skill one. And uh, next one, Silk. 
Eternal Guard, and finally Angelica. Now for the stats and all the gear. Just pause if I go too quick, guys. So that's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching, I'm Astronox. Like, comment, and subscribe for more. Press the bell icon if you'd like to be notified whenever I release a new video. And uh, if you're thinking about building this team, you can check my Alexa in uh, action against uh, Wyvern 11. I did a few videos already. It could be what will change your mind to maybe six star her. Because, I mean, her damage is very, very high. As you can see, she's part of the high, some of the highest morale uh, teams for Labyrinth and Raids. So it's definitely worth thinking about if you want to speed up your Wyvern runs. Just like, it's so worth it. Now I actually do a Wyvern 3-man plus a father. So what it means is that I'm running Wyvern, getting gear, getting gold and all that good stuff. And also getting experience for a, a hero like a Phantasm. A, uh, any father like a two star want to make it into a three star later like that's free experience guys while you're farming all that stuff it's definitely worth uh thinking twice about if you like in your mind it's like yeah she's just good for like wyvern maybe now you like you're deciding yeah she can be used in raid two i mean might as well like build her but then like if i tell you yeah i mean she's gonna make it easier for you especially you have angelica alexa and Tarnor Guard, like you can have this trio take out uh, uh, Wyvern, and uh, it's the, the gear requirement is not as bad as other group compositions. You are not requiring any natural five star heroes. I mean, it's very doable and uh, very obtainable. Angelica, you like you could save up, you could save up, guys. Your mystic summons wait for. Akatis uh, or Angelica to show up in the pool, but like I said, like if you don't have Tornar Guard, like look at this banner. I mean, by maybe by the time you check the video, it's gonna be gone. But this is a very good example. You need Tornar Guard and you need that healer. Like could be Akatis, could be Angelica later on. And yeah, I mean it's not that bad to actually get a three-star hero. So I say like as a free-to-play player, I've been uh, getting comments like, yeah, I mean not totally a free-to-play team because I mean you cannot get the heroes from connections. And yes, I got unlucky with Kiris. It took me over 130 days to actually summon her, even though I use all my Covenant bookmarks for summoning so far. As you can see, I only have 136 left. And also, I don't use my Sky Stones for. Uh, for summoning guys i don't convert them to covenant uh, bookmarks i only did it once and it was to get luna uh, i was refreshing the secret shop and buying covenant bookmarks that were showing up and that's how i did the extra pulls to actually get the 121 guarantee summon for luna but that's the only time i actually use sky stones for that i only convert them into energy but anyways that's gonna be it for this one really guys uh, just check my other videos i'll be uh, uh putting the video of uh Alexa in uh, in Wyvern, part of a four-man team and also part of the three-man team plus the father. Definitely check that out if you're still not convinced. Uh, I feel like she's a, uh, a truly a good hero to invest into, unless unless you can like three-man, you can actually three-man uh, Wyvern already. So yeah, maybe just. You don't need to do it. Maybe you have a high morale team already for your, uh, <laughs> yeah, the passionals for the the, the ringtone. I mean, I gotta set it like uh, sometimes it's. Uh, you, I mean, you never know. Uh, I might forget or something. But yeah. Anyways, that's gonna be it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching again. I'm Astronox. I'm and I'm out. Peace.